The professional triers are back with Brian, Carl, Keith, and there's a bunch more of us that could not make it to this podcast tonight, but we're trying. And we're going to keep trying <laughs> to keep going with this. Um, mostly because um, Brian and me got a lot of slack from some Australians for not continuing this podcast. And I said, because my garage wasn't clean, and they said that was a horrible excuse, get a green screen. And that's Keith Wesley's words. But <laughs> the laptop I use to do the podcast won't support a green screen without a green screen. So I just moved some crap around to cover up my mess. But how you guys doing? Good. Doing awesome. Yeah. Missed y'all. Very good. My beard's getting long. It's been Dang a while great. since I've been on. I had to readjust the camera so I could get in the shot. Definitely getting a little scruffy here, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Look at this. Yeah, look at it. Yeah. Before we went to Trans World. Carl's looks so cute, though. It's like you tried, yeah. but not too much. Hey, I got to keep it trimmed, <laughs> otherwise I get I get yelled at if I don't trim it. You got to trim that beard. <laughs> There's priorities, Carl. Or, or not like Keith, though, man. That, that's uh, looking good there, brother. Pulling that. <laughs> How, how's the hair? Because I know. Oh, my you gosh. Got, you got your hair. I can't, really good. I can't even show it. It's just. I look ridiculous. If you watch um, uh, Gold Rush, I look like that ridiculous guy, Fred Lewis, or whatever the hell his name is. The big old gunk hair right now. Uh. Nice. So some of us just got back from Transworld. Some of us missed out. But uh, Brian, what did you think of your experience at Transworld? Transworld was awesome. I had a great time. It's just so much to see. It's, I mean, you could spend a day walk in each area Halloween and Christmas and still probably see a picture later and like, oh my god, how did I miss that? Yeah. It's it's huge. Yeah, we uh I just said the word experience. David's gonna want money for that. Oh well, yeah. And then that's we right. also ruined the word experience. But that's another story for another podcast. But uh <laughs> <laughs> let's just say that his logo looks like something but uh, bar, bar room talk. <clears throat> but people were having experiences. <laughs> I'm curious what people think it is. Put it in the comments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell us what you think we are using the word experience for. Um, <laughs> like Keith, he's still on the ball. He's like, just put it in the comments. We're over here. Like, what do we do? I forgot how to do an intro. Subscribe. When, like. <laughs> when salsa landed on the table, it was a very close experience. Yeah. There's a prize, too. I think there's $500 for the uh, closest to the logo you could make. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally. Can't be cropped. Yeah. Um, Happy accident. But yeah, so <laughs> me and Brian went to Transworld. We had a great time. We did the PBR bar party again. We did the official. Um, Christmas on the farm party, which was, I'd say, a million times better than last year. Yeah, it was great. Like it was fun. They had a mechanical bull. They had a plastic horse that Keith Wesley tried to rope us with. Well, he was actually trying to rope the plastic cow, but me and I think it was Robert went running across, ran across to try to get him to rope us, and he didn't pause. It was like go for it, wrap <laughs> us around the neck. Um, we hung out with a bunch of Austra Australians. I tried Vegemite for the first time ever, and I almost puked. Like, literally almost puked. Like, later in the day when I tasted it again in my mouth, I almost puked. Um, <laughs> Gotta wash it down with plenty of beer, brother. Those Australians know how to make you never forget them. Because I'm <laughs> never going to forget how bad that was. It was what? the worst thing ever. I'm going to be, I don't know what Vegemite is. Maybe yeah, I that's do. That's good. Stay that way. Okay. I never <laughs> want to know what Vegemite is. <laughs> if, if this it's... wasn't a public show, I could tell you what it was. But... Uh, <laughs> it's a... Uh... Have you ever had haggis? Yeah. It's worse than haggis. It's, yeah. More pungent. It's, yeah. It's worse than haggis. Okay. It's a very acquired taste. And then, like, put it on bread and with, like, toast. It's like their normal spread. All right. But it's... Yeah, it's it was, yeah. Got to try it once, I guess, or not? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'd say yeah. Try it once. And the thing is, is I'm lucky Keith was there when Troy gave me this because, like, he it's a squirt bottle and he put it on my finger, like on like from this line here, dumped it on my finger, and Keith's like, "That's a lot." My ass <laughs> ate that whole thing if Keith wasn't there. 
and I probably would have puked. It just saved my life. Because he once he said, that's a lot, I just licked like the little bit of the end of it, and it was bad. If just, I took that whole finger, I would have been puking right there in PPD's booth. It would have been just, it would have been yeah. a disaster. Because it was really hard, just a tiny bit I had. To, like I was I was gagging I just had a Red Bull beforehand so then like that was like coming up and it was just yeah it was an experience <laughs> pretty much everybody else that had tried it had the same experience as I did damn the, look at this this is going to be like a $500 podcast every time I say that word David <laughs> oh he hears his <laughs> cha-ching cha-ching yeah. cha-ching yeah, so for the guys great. who didn't go to Trans World what are you going to be up to Let's go with Carl. Carl. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> work, work, and more work. Um, just ramping up post. Uh, everything's getting back to kind of somewhat normal at work, so I've been really busy with that. Plus, uh, my other my other venture, doing uh, voiceovers, uh, voice acting work, so I've got uh, been doing some of that um, you would never in my off hours. Issue here. Say what, huh? Who? You would never know by the voice you hear right now that he does voiceover work. That's that's right. I think, I, think I need right. that professional radio voice right now. This is my this is my uh, my raw microphone uh, Zoom voice. Can we can we get a little professional right now? Can I was going to um, ask for a little the official something. Carl. <laughs> um, I don't think I could get it set up right now. No, I would probably break things. Sorry. Really. Sure yeah, you want to try. I wasn't prepared for tonight. Okay, everybody say preparing. goodbye to Carl. Just Bye. Okay. It was nice seeing you all. Have a nice night. <laughs> Go ahead and try. Don't forget to tip your waiters. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Keith? Uh, went skiing a few times, uh, which was nice to get a break and do something like that. And then uh, then just been kind of starting to restore old displays. To, you know, that's about it. The yeah. exciting life of restoration. Cool. Yep. All right. Yeah. Preventative maintenance or something. I don't know. <laughs> and then Brian's been working like crazy. I'm just going to tell what you do, Brian. Been busy. And I haven't been doing anything because I let Brian do it all. <laughs> <laughs> and when was the last time your boss gave you a raise, Brian? <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Again, something we can't talk about on the air. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> there may have now we'll go to a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, we got to remember who rec- who edits these. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, PG this up a little. Shout out, shout out to Seth. Yeah, I'm sorry, Seth. Hey, Seth. <laughs> inappropriate. Oh man, now Seth is going to know what we talk about for his dad's company's name. He won't put two and two together. Well, I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you just told everybody. Nobody knew it till then. Yeah. <laughs> Let's edit that out. No. <laughs> Anyways. Edit before you send it to the Hey, editor. you know a good editor who can edit before it gets edited? <laughs> <laughs> we need a good pre-edit. We're, yeah. we're live, folks. Yeah. But, but, but like, hey, live. David, David, please review this and edit it before <laughs> Seth it. <laughs> Oh, this would be great if we 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 really were live, you know, on Twitch or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That that That's could cool. happen. We can, we yeah. can do that. We can yeah, make that we happen. Could possibly yeah. try to do that. Um, live podcasts are always fun. Mm-hmm. It could be. It could be fun. Um, me and Brian tried to go live today from Zoom into my group, my page, but apparently you can't go in live into a page. So then we went live on our phones, which then my kids interrupted, and it was, you know, a disaster. But hey. My phone kept going off and kept cutting you out. I thought it was entertaining, actually. Oh. Was it good? Did you watch? I, th- I thought it was entertaining. I saw it. I saw the after show, but yeah, the after show, yeah, Carl. Yeah. 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 With all the seventy-five comments plus, I mean, oh yeah, there's a hit. lot of comments on it. Yeah. You guys are a hit. There's, there's a lot of people good. telling us we're doing wrong. No, <laughs> <laughs> you're not that doing it right. Never- <laughs> no, seriously, we've missed you guys. It's been a long. Uh, everybody's been so busy and. Since Christmas, I mean, I think it's the first time we've gotten together since then. It has been since it has. all of us it's before that. Yeah, long time. Yeah. We had very good intentions after we came back from Trans World last was year. Was it Trans World last year? I was think, so. I think it was. We it's had a good time. run, and then like I was like, "Oh no, no matter what, I'm going to record on my phone and all this stuff." Well, that was harder than I thought. We yeah. did it once on my phone. The audio was horrible. The quality was just miserable. 
And then, uh, like, we didn't do it again because, one, I don't think anybody wants to hear how bad that audio was on a podcast. Yeah, it was. And it was rough. We just we didn't have time. You know, Keith, you didn't hook them up. You didn't. You didn't set them up. We, just, um, we, we were busy too. Yeah, but, like, yeah, I mean, I could put out excuses, but <laughs> we were busy. <laughs> we uh. Me and Keith, for a period of time, we were doing 16-hour days every day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I left Keith once because it was my wife's birthday, and we went to dinner. And then Keith stayed there way longer than he should have by himself. And I was like, dude, you need a break. And then we went 16 hours the next day, even though after that. So it was a little intense. It was a little crazy. Yeah. Um, without Keith, we wouldn't have built the cool drive through that we were able to build. It was fun. Um, and then Keith is the main man on the drive through from now on. And I am doing Matos Designs full time with Brian's help. Sweet. And we're. Oh. Uh, Congratulations, Keith. We're killing it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very confident thanks there. You little. That was a little. <laughs> no, no. It, it, you know, I, I just know um, this year is going to be a little bit more just keep it simple. And uh, you know, and then slowly adapt. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a little difficult without you, Jr. I, and a lot of your ideas and vision and stuff like that. So got it. Don't worry, you got yeah. this. <laughs> I just, I just want to make sure. Do you have all of the models? <laughs> all the props. <laughs> you said you were going to make a folder and everything. Whatever. Happened. I thought you were going to make the folder, and I was just going to throw everything in there. I did make the folder. Uh, Brian's <laughs> modeling is a, a fee now. I'm just saying. It's not a free service. Uh, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that, that goes without saying. Oh, I can already. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Anything you need, Keith, let me know. Uh, thanks. <laughs> For a nominal yeah. fee. Yeah. You're right now. <laughs> but uh, I guess we should talk about, like, what the professional triers is going to come back doing. We're going to have the normal show. Um, trying for every Monday. That is the normal show. Trying. Um, and then, I don't think we've determined the days for the other shows yet. Um, we know. Brian, you want to talk about what you're coming back with? I don't know. I, want, I do want to do, still want to do Blinky Flashy, but I don't want to make it sound like an infomercial with whatever blinky or whatever sequence bender I'm talking to. So, and I want to know in everybody's comments, I want to know what you think. Hit me up on this thing. Oh, you didn't even see that. Yeah, there we go. The That's the backside. Um, <laughs> send a message. Cell phone. Yeah. Like a, uh, uh, some kind of spider or something. <laughs> <laughs> send me a message, PM, whatever. And because I kind of think I want to talk about or talk to people that buy sequences like I do. I'm in a, a sequence club. I want to join this other sequence club. Uh, I'm talking to him uh, here in a couple weeks. And then with other people's sequences. Because there's like, oh my God, there's like 20 sequencers now. Oh, maybe. And that's probably not exaggerating. But, in the comments, but how many you think there are? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Adam, I did the same thing like we did before. Um, sequencers, all of you millions that now sequence and sell them. Um, let Brian know what you have new coming out each week or month, and then he will talk about them like we did previously, where it was yeah. like, "Hey, this this guy's got this song. He just came out with this guy's got this song that he just came out with." But yeah, I like your thought of having buyers on the show other than sequencers like we did in the past. That's a good place. So, so if you want to be on my show, hit me up and we'll discuss it. We'll set up a time, uh, whatever time is convenient. And then, yeah, we'll just, we'll talk about the different sequencers that are out there um, and not slandering or badgering or anything like that. Just pros and cons of what we like. Because the main thing that I look at when I watch a sequence that pops up on Facebook, I don't actually look at the sequence I'd look at it as a whole, but uh, listening to the music, my biggest pet peeve is missed opportunities. If the song 
took a, a sharp beat or you know was leading up to the i don't want to say the climax but the the experience yeah the experience Rock. of it <laughs> <The thing. laughs> you know did the lights do the same thing and you know and everybody has their own perspective of what they like in a sequence or what they like on their show because that's what i do i i vision my layout that i have and then as i'm watching that sequence wondering what i can do on my layout with it so that's kind of the direction i want to take and then i do want you know the sequence vendors you know let me know what they have coming up um i, I do want to get involved with ppd's um guess the sequence at the end of the month that's is really fun uh to do that with them that we did i think we did it like three or four times in 2019 but yeah uh just basically just shoot the the breeze about sequences so hit me up and then keith you want to talk about what you got going on yeah so for hot or not we got um i mean we have this huge chip shortage right so that's going to be a hot topic so we're going to talk about the stuff you can get right now um is you know the controllers you can get and uh what if like if you can't get those or you're waiting for the ones that you you know like the falcons and other things like that then we'll show you some kind of test um controllers and stuff like that so at least you can get your pixels running and knowing that they're working and uh, then we'll you know, talk about some other new products that kind of came out in 2021 because really a hot, hot or not hasn't really been on uh, the radar since then. So there's definitely been some stuff from our friends and some other people even, you know, not even from the States. So stuff to look out for. Very cool. cool. I'm excited for hot or not because I like Very it cool. because um, I'm kind of lazy to look for new shit and Keith always found it for me. So then I would be like, oh, hey, <laughs> hey check that out. That's new. Uh, Carl, let's That's hear cool. about what you're going to do. So we're going to bring back Illuminosity, the game show. Um, we had a lot of fun with it before. Again, yeah, Brian, you can be on it if you want, but <laughs> you can't peek at the answers ahead of time. So, uh, you know, Keith, actually, Brian and I are hosting it, and, and Keith is there working with us. He kind of runs everything in the background and makes everything kind of tick. We're going to have some new games. We're going to have some new, uh, new guests, uh, maybe some special guests this year. Um, we'll see, but... Hopefully we can uh, have some fun with it and see where it goes. Maybe we'll even get a couple Australians to be on it. Oh, that would be do fun. an Australian version. Yeah. <sighs> I think the luminosity, uh, the Aussie version. I think a couple of them that was uh, putting Orbeez down my shirt at the party <laughs> might uh <laughs> might owe me a favor. <laughs> That's that not fun. Interesting. I want to see the that, video. Where's well, the video? Did you guys see the shirt I wore to the party? <laughs> Yes, like, uh, I was yes. going to bring that up. What? Uh, so are you going to bring that up? I mean, it's a full print, <laughs> a full print shirt with hairy belly and all, and tattoos of Christmas lights right. and stuff. So to make to pull it off and make it look good, I had to tuck who's, it. In who was on the back? Oh who yeah, it had a had a Brian skull on the back of it, with candy canes. It was <laughs> it was awesome. But to pull it off, I had to tuck it in. Well, that was a perfect opportunity for these guys to dump Orbeez down my back. <laughs> and I would walk the whole rest of the night and Orbeez falling out of my pants. <laughs> they didn't pop first. No, Orbeez, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Not fun. But yeah, I did. I think I, personally, I think I won the best costume for that thing. Fall, I don't know. Well, Chad. Chad. Chad was, he was very in the moment. Uh, Chad showed up like the... Uh, Oh, rhinestone cowboy. Rhinestone cowboy. The tassels full on. He did like the gold, the wings, and the tassels were coming down, and then the tassels were across the back. It was, nice. it was pretty impressive. It was, yeah. And then Carl's going to do another show, but we don't know yet. But Carl's going to do it. It may, it may be just the half hour of Carl doing different voices. Who knows? Um, we could, we could that'd be that. so cool. <laughs> I, could, I could, I could. Hey, I got something for you, just Keith, like, So. Hey, here's a great idea. How about like people just write a crazy script, you know, just send it to you, and then you I'll just read your story. <laughs> no, we like, gotta do that live though. See, well, that has to be done live. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a lot more fun story. when that's live. Carl's there gonna go with himself. He's gonna have one voice ask the other voice questions, and he's gonna answer them. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm picturing. <laughs> now, are we gonna mention the <laughs> fifth person that didn't make it tonight? Uh, fifth or sixth? Fifth and <laughs> sixth. I don't oh know. yeah, the well, seven. fifth so really Stoffer doesn't have anything other than yeah. The Stoffergens are still down to do the excise rundown. They even have, I believe, some episodes in the bank. 
because they continued working when we all failed. When nobody else That's right. did. Yeah, when nobody else did. They were, like, no, <laughs> they were the only ones doing they're anything. They keep going. Mm-hmm. So the Stoffergens, and we hung out with them this weekend. Yeah. I love those people. They're freaking Still awesome. awesome people. They're so much fun. I'm going to see them in Kansas, too. Um, and then we have David Peace, who is part of the Professional Triers, but doesn't have a show. What is David's job? So he's not a trier? The pre-editor <laughs> to the editor. I think he's like the <laughs> elate, 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 what, what word am I trying to say here? Liaison? Li- yeah. Liaison? Liaison, liaison the editor. <laughs> liaison to the oh, editor. Yeah. That yeah. yeah. That's uh, David Peace's he- job with the professional triers. Yeah. Um, and then we got a new guy who was supposed to join us tonight, but stuck at work. Mr. Robert Petty. And Robert Petty is going to take over a show. Did we? We had like one or two episodes of this show, right? Yes. 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 It was the New Triers Workshop. Robert Petty's going to take it over because Robert sold his whole display and he's starting 100% over. So this episode is going to be basically, it's like the old show, the New Yankee Workshop, but it's the New Triers Workshop where you have an old guy building stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Careful with that that old word word there, brother. (laughs) But yeah, Rob's going to be building his display all from the ground up, brand new. I can't wait. We have a veteran getting his chance to start new again. So you get to see his choices, how he builds stuff, um, and hopefully not the mistakes he makes again from his previous show. (laughs) I think it's going to be good and fun and we're excited to have Rob back on, or Rob on board for this. Yeah. Um, cool. What am I? Am I missing anything else? I think that was it. I think it's that. Oh, Chill. Chill is actually oh, yeah. a big hit. Yeah. He's available at every Coro manufacturer. He can get Chill. He's right, hanging right, over Brian's shoulder right there. Right, right here. Right can you see there. Right he's, um, he's in my shed. 1,100. Oh, my God. What's the pixel count? A whole bunch, like a, whole a bunch. bunch, like so many. Um. Oh, and Brian, we forgot. Chill is going to be part of our show. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to? You want to wake yeah. Chill up here? Do we want to? Do we want to do a? Uh, Welcome to the Mister Chill Snowflake Prime Time Extravaganza Spectacular Special. Yep. You, Mr. Chill. So, you know, I tried to say that in my my mind and I ran out of air. I don't know how much <laughs> air he's got. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I yeah. again. <laughs> That's what snowflakes, you know, they they have endless amounts of air. Yes. Oh yeah, they got a lot of holes. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> Well, mine do because I don't have any pixels in them yet. <laughs> you do you inhale air from all your holes? I don't get this. <laughs> you can. <laughs> if you try real hard. <laughs> wow. That's another show. I want to say <laughs> I want to say a word, but I will really bad. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't it be cool though if you could get chill already the pixels already pre-pushed? That would be awesome. That's a lot. That would be that's, awesome. That's, that's a lot of pixels. That's heavy. It's like eleven hundred dollar prop. Um, <laughs> and, and, and shipping. Yeah. Like I have, so I use chill. What? All right. I hate to say this. Downside to chill. He's heavy. Yeah. Like he did not go where I wanted him to go because I couldn't hang him in the window. But boy, is he pretty. Like he's super dense on the flakes, and then he's got the singing face. It's I. I liked him. He was a very nice prop on my display, and. Everybody, he got it. I forgot he got his appearance in the X Lights Around the World video. Mm-hmm. Chill yeah. had his own screen. That's the very that's beginning, about, wasn't it? I believe he's yeah. the first mascot to have his own X Lights Around the World shot. So, if somebody wanted to um, get chill, where could they get chill from? Any Coro manufacturer. So, would it be cool if anybody who had chill and they had him running, they could send us a video and we could put it on the triers? Oh yeah! Oh, that'd be we neat. could we could have chill wherever chill is. We could have short videos of chill we could do in the different video parts backgrounds. of the world. It could be video backgrounds. Wait a minute, there here you go. Hold on. 
Um, See? Somebody in this group's got to be smart enough for this, not me. But is there a way we could share Chill's audio files and people could sequence their Chill with our audio and we will use it in our videos? Absolutely. Yeah. Do we just I know a guy. set up a Google Drive? Do, do we know a guy that would does... We know a guy, but yes, you could just set up a shared drive and people could download them and we could even provide the um, X-Lights lyrics tracks if somebody wanted them. Easy peasy. Carl, that's a lot of work. There's a lot I don't know, but I don't know. Keith's got plenty of time to do it, don't you? It's... I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking the easy peasy <laughs> guy was a volunteer. Yeah. That's why it's easy peasy. So easy. Who knows? Maybe that's something we could do here in the short term. That would be cool. When you said lyric tracks, I went... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just like, let's just put the audio and let somebody else. Brian, you could just track. add them to your. You could just add them to your your sequences, right? The sequences that you build. Yeah. With the lyrics tracks, come on, easy peasy. <laughs> oh, should we make this a contest? Ooh. Ooh. Because Ooh, Chill has the ability to have m amazing effects around him while he speaks. Should we make this a contest? What are they gonna win? I, we don't know. Price to be announced uh, later. But, yeah, but let's, we let's can go. <laughs> let's go three hundred dollar Amazon gift card to the winner of this contest. We will come up with the terms of the contest and the judges of the contest. So we'll post all of that in the Professional Chires Podcast Facebook page. Yes, in the in the Facebook so, page, we'll put all the rules to this contest. How it works. You guys have to create the lyric tracks. You will be judged on the quality of your lyric track and the effects of... We'll do three criterias. You guys could say no to this on everything. But we'll do the quality of your lyric track because we have two people that were critiquers for the lyric track group, right? So I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> but we have two people officially good at checking lyric tracks so we'll judge on the quality of the lyric track we'll judge on the amount of effects that looks good on his outer lit rings and then uh, colors like color combinations each category will get a score and those scores will add up to the overall score and that overall score will determine who wins this is live, folks, by the way. This is, yeah, this, the is, on the this is all on the fly. All on the fly. This here. was not pre planned. We nope. did not talk about this ahead of time. Doing it right here. Doing it right everybody, here. Everybody, this is, we're doing this it is live. How, um, this is how shit happens right here. Everybody That's good with those, those terms? So I will. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think. Carl, I will get you all of the audio tracks. There's, I think, 40 of them. They can pick and choose whichever the ones they want. Yep. And we'll get those in the um, on the Professional Tires Podcast Facebook page. Yep. Hi, everybody. Just kidding. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shut, stop it. So, and then we'll we'll use those videos in the podcast. Um, and then you guys have a chance to win a three hundred dollar Amazon gift card and make some cool stuff. And we will do a video with all of the audio. And give you guys all credit for what you did. And then, um, let's say, ah, here we'll do this. I'll do a $50 Amazon gift card for the people's choice. Can I throw in oh, one? Yeah. If they don't already have, and you guys tell me if this isn't cool, um, but if they don't already have it, you can do it from X Lights with just. Uh, chill on there and then the winner of that one i will send them one of my chill snowflakes Ooh, wow is that, like is that, that. cool with you guys yeah that's yes. cool yeah, yeah. Good. I like that. but yeah we'll do a a 50 dollars amazon gift card for people's choice so before we announce our winners we'll post a video and then our listeners will pick which one they think wins and then we'll have our podcast panel of all the people that do shows pick our winners off the criteria i specified i'll rewatch this and write it all down um, <laughs> <laughs> i don't have a notebook with me but uh we'll do that we'll do 300 dollars on the one we pick 50 dollars on the one our listeners pick and then the best x lights model 
um, Ryan will send them a chill. Uh, no pixels, just the chill. <laughs> <laughs> Good specification. <laughs> like, hang on, hang on. You're not going to get <laughs> pixels with it. Because, <laughs> you know, I mean, I got Ray Wu, and nobody else carries Ray Wu. And... So many different. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't want people having to cut them and put oh, on that would just own... That would just be terrible, wouldn't it? It would. It just, <laughs> it would. <laughs> That'd be horrible. You know. So, so yeah, yeah. No, hey, just the core contest too. But yeah, more information to come. Yeah, cool. Oh, that's awesome. We got a contest, yeah. folks. Yeah, sorry, I'm on new medicine, so I'll just ask Brian. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> just, like I got an idea. We're doing this now. Um, I got to Trans World and heard a story five times. <laughs> right. You know what? Apparently, the new medicine when you're first on it, you forget things quickly. <laughs> True. But. Mess will do that to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but this type, you get to keep your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Controlled. Um, but yeah. You should hear some of my Marco Polo. I just... <laughs> full throttle. New product. All designed, figured out, and in store soon. I don't know. Um, but yeah. <laughs> there'll, be, there'll be a new one in the store tomorrow morning, yeah. right? You're going to have something new to, and approved. Uh, we need to stop me from giving away shit. So let's uh, <laughs> let's uh, move on. <laughs> what else? Awesome. So cool. there we go. Yeah, professional triers is back, causing a ruckus. But you were contest. <laughs> comments, likes, dislikes, what you want. Yeah, you could tell us in the comments too. This is a horrible idea. You want to be on the show? Yeah. yeah. Reach out. Still Any of the shows. We're not going to get mad if you don't like us. We're used to it. That's why we're just the professional triers. Yeah. But Illum <laughs> Illuminosity is the best because everyone's a winner. Yes. Which we need to get people to give prizes for that. <laughs> we need like, participation trophies. Participation for Do we have yes. any pins left? Pins. Oh, I have shot glasses <laughs> with the blinky on it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Blinky. Oh. Still a registered trademark to the professional triers. Uh, so blink, 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 is Blinky just on hiatus? Yeah, he went on <laughs> he got, vacation. He got kicked to the curb. Yeah, <laughs> he got a day job. Yeah. It's unreachable right now. Yep. <laughs> I think it was that snowflake that did it. He's, <laughs> he's having an experience. Um, <laughs> lights. And it comes back around. <laughs> I have a bet on how many times now. <laughs> I have a feeling we're nearing the end of this podcast. Oh, yeah, we are definitely there. there. We've been there. <laughs> I was waiting for Brian to play chill to exit us. Oh, yeah, Brian. You, I don't even know what the uh, which one. Hi, folks, and thanks for tuning in to my show. Well, it kind of it's like our show, not just. Oh, sorry. Um, a little mad at the chill there, huh? Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Let's do this. All right. Bye. Wait, we didn't even play rapid fire questions. Do we have any? I don't Let's, know. Everybody gets one rapid fire question because I've been sending you a million one. TikToks to use for yeah. rapid fire questions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, if I play it right now to hear it, everybody's gonna hear it first. So. Um. Oh well. Can't. <laughs> really. <laughs> you you, you, that use that baby, yeah, you on. know what? Let's. Hey, you know, hey I got one too. Together. Look. <laughs> and we'll get our rapid fire questions together for the future episode, and then uh, we'll actually do that. Then I think, I think we've rambled on long enough, or at least I have. What do you think? Like... And Brian's just over there pushing buttons like he's doing. Really cool. <laughs> I got buttons too. Okay, are we gonna do? I wasn't even paying attention because I was looking for something to play. What are we doing? <laughs> we're saying goodbye. We're just. Oh, we're not gonna we're... do one rapid fire each. No. Oh. Do you want to? I'm disappointed now. Brian, do you have one ready? I got, I got one. I got to test one. I got one ready. Okay. All right. Fine, Brian. Go. Do you eat macaroni and cheese with a spoon or a fork? With oh, whatever it else it goes with. Which one do you eat it with? <laughs> Just I'm mac and like, cheese. Like, if I'm eating something else that requires a fork, I'll eat the mac and cheese with a fork. If I'm eating something else that requires a spoon, I'll eat the mac and cheese with a spoon. Oh, that's yeah. deep. If you're just eating macaroni and cheese. Uh, whatever I grab. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> Anybody else got anything for this? I, I agree with you, but 
a fork, fork. Spoon, knife. A fork. Knives work too sometimes. <laughs> you, just, you know, just you just slip objects. it right out of the bowl. <laughs> That's you know, I'm gonna throw go. one. I'm gonna throw a crazy one out there. A sport. Okay. Sport Don't one. Don't ask macaroni and cheese questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. All right, Keith. Let's go. Lights out. No, <laughs> he's got one. It's, oh, does he? Oh, go, go, go. I do. No, I, I don't. Do you? <laughs> you just said you'll have a crazy one. No, no, I, I just said spork. Oh, you said a spork. Spork. I thought you had like a crazy. Rapid oh, rapid fire. That nah, had to do with a nah. sport. Sorry. Nah. Spork. Yeah. <laughs> Taco that's it. Bell. Crazy. Well, I guess yeah. That's what I would eat it for if I got it at KFC. Yeah. Exactly. Ooh, good point. Good. <laughs> Yeah, Brian, I get teased was... all the time by my family because the way I make my macaroni and cheese is a little saucy, and I like to eat it in a bowl with <laughs> <laughs> somebody else has got buttons with a spoon. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Love you. Yep. <laughs> all right. See ya. Bye. Cheers. Bye.